All right, here we're gonna have a really simple scene of Campylobacter Jejuni. Here we have this camp with Jupiter in the back for Campylobacter Jejuni. And we see our character over here in the camp. In fact, he's the only member of this camp. We see that he's a gram negative, because he's red, rod that's spiral shape or curved shape, as Campylobacter Jejuni is curved shape. And he's roasting his marshmallows because Campylobacter Jejuni grows at higher temperatures, for example, 42 degrees Celsius. The ox in the background reminds us of oxidase positive, as Campylobacter Jejuni is oxidase positive. Transmission of Campylobacter Jejuni is through fecal or oral transmission, particularly through contaminated food, especially poultry or meat. And that's why we take a look over here at the contaminated meat on the floor that our character over here apparently had been eating. And the dog, which is taking an interest in this meat on the floor, reminds us that it's not only through undercooked poultry or meat, but also through infected animals such as dogs. But it can also be through cats, sheep, or chickens. And when patients ingest the pathogen, it leads to a diarrhea with positive fecal leukocytes and occult oh blood gosh. consistent with inflammatory diarrhea. Oh and that's why this dog over here has this inflammatory gosh. bloody diarrhea. Similar to in Shigella, Salmonella, and Yersinia, where we see an inflammatory, bloody diarrhea. Anyway, after ingestion, Campylobacter colonizes the intestinal mucosa. It enters enterocytes within endocytic vacuoles and causes cell injury. And this is what leads to the diarrhea, but patients may also develop fever and, of course, abdominal pain. Now, symptoms usually resolve within a week, and patients generally just require supportive care. But two associations important to be aware of are guillain barre syndrome, which happens in a minority of cases when a host responds to Campylobacter infection generates cross-reacting antibodies to peripheral nerve myelin gangliosides, a form of molecular mimicry. And this green bar over here reminds us of Guillain-Barre, and the fact that it goes up reminds us of the ascending symmetric weakness found in Guillain-Barre syndrome. And the random sign of reactive arthritis on top of the green bar reminds us of the association with reactive arthritis. All right, so in summary, Campylobacter jejuni is a gram-negative spiral-shaped rod that grows in high temperatures, it's oxidase positive, it's transmitted through contaminated meat or poultry or through animals, it causes an inflammatory bloody diarrhea, and it's associated with Guillain-Barre syndrome and reactive arthritis. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on Campylobacter jejuni. Take care.